Hey there, winos. This is Vince.Wine, and today I want you to join me in starting a new annual wine tradition with a wine that releases every November just in time for the holidays. We are celebrating Beaujolais Nouveau Day on today's Uncorked. Hey, thanks for joining me. And before we get started today, if you want to be a winoceros, hit subscribe on this channel to become a wino today. I'll put out new videos every single Saturday, so be sure to hit that bell icon to stay notified for more great wine content. Okay, so what is Beaujolais Nouveau? Well, for that answer, we go to our map and look at the region of Beaujolais. We are looking at our map of France and more specifically the region of Burgundy. Now, this is where all of our famous Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays come from. You've got Chablis up in the north region. Then it goes into the Côte d'Or, which is where you get those super popular Gevray Chambertin and Vin Ramenet. And beneath the Côte d'Or, you've got the Chalonnay and the Mackinac. And then way down under Underneath, you've got the region of Beaujolais. Now, unlike the rest of that region where Pinot Noir and Chardonnay rule, in Beaujolais, Damay is the king. Damay is a varietal very similar to Pinot Noir. It's sort of this light bodied red wine. And like Pinot Noir, it can really express the terroir of Burgundy and even has some great ageability. But this is not true of Beaujolais Nouveau. How is Beaujolais Nouveau different from regular Beaujolais? Okay, and the answer to that is the wine style called carbonic, carbonic maceration. maceration. It sounds kind of technical, but it's really not that complicated. With carbonic maceration, whole clusters are placed into a tank that is completely sealed off from oxygen. It is an oxygen-free environment. So instead of that sort of longer process in a normal fermentation where oxygen interacts and sugars begin to eat the natural yeast either added or found on the skins of the fruit, CO2 is sealed in instead of oxygen, and CO2 is a very rich environment. So the grapes begin to ferment from the inside out rather than from the outside in. This is a really intense process. And those whole clusters and all that skin contact gives you all that deep color and intensely fruity flavor. And the kicker is that that fruitiness and that flavor and that intensity, while brilliant, is only going to last for a short period of time. Beaujolais Nouveau is going to fall apart after uh, maybe about six months. This is the one that you want to drink right now and enjoy right now and celebrate with right now. It cannot age. It will become vinified or vinegary or just completely fall apart in structure after about a six months to a year. So on the third Thursday in November, every single year after a long harvest, the Beaujolais region celebrates with Beaujolais Nouveau. Now, initially, this was just a really fun way to celebrate and reward the harvest workers, but this has become a huge phenomenon, not just in France, but in all the world. In fact, it's pretty common today for distributors and producers to race after getting their hands on as much Beaujolais Nouveau as possible because this is a super limited release. It is always from within the same year, just a couple months after harvest, and it's gonna sell out fast. So people around the world wanna get their hands on this wine and it has to be enjoyed immediately before it falls apart. Okay, so with that, what does the Gamay fruit that's made in the Beaujolais Nouveau style actually taste like? Well, this, my friends, is Georges de Boeuf's Beaujolais Nouveau. So let's just take a look at the bottle. One thing that I love is Georges de Boeuf's wine is this signature floral pattern on top. There you have the producer name, and there it is, Beaujolais Nouveau, and that is an AOC there, or Protected Wine Growing Region. And here, I love this because this exactly explains what this wine is the first wine of the harvest, 2021. Now, Georges de Beauf single-handedly masterminded this whole phenomenon of Beaujolais Nouveau. He really made this race to get this wine in hand popular. He was all behind the marketing, and his label is really sort of the lead producer of Beaujolais Nouveau. However, there are several producers out there. This is just probably one of the more classic and oldest producers available. So let's pop it open. In the glass, and just as I expected, this 
is pretty intensely colored here. Take a look at how rich and deep that color, it's sort of a pomegranate color in there, sort of a dark ruby. And that comes from all that skin contact during that carbonic maceration process. Oh, this is intensely aromatic. I can smell this from right here. Oh my goodness, and I can stick my nose in this all day long. So typical flavors in Beaujolais Nouveau are gonna be, surprisingly, bubblegum. And I absolutely get that bubblegum aromatic in here. I'm also getting some strawberry on this one and a little bit of white pepper. Let's get it on the palate. Oh, yeah, this wine is so juicy. It is juicy and intensely fruity. I still get a lot of the same notes there, that bubblegum, watermelon, and white pepper spice still on here. Makes it super savory and fruity at the same time. The freshness of this wine is absolutely unmistakable and really unbeatable. Ooh, there's also sort of like a medium tannin structure here that just gives the lightest grip. And remember that that tannin and acidity is pretty medium to medium low and will fall apart. So once I just have to be clear that if you get your hands on a bottle, pop it open because this isn't gonna last forever. And the wine is very light bodied as well. So it's sort of medium, medium light on the body. Now, much like its brother, Pinot Noir, this wine is very much a Thanksgiving wine. It's gonna go with a lot of the same food pairings that Pinot Noir might go with. Think of those sort of earthy things like stuffing and turkey and mashed potatoes and that sort of lighter, fair, earthy cuisine. So it's no wonder that this wine is so popular, especially since it comes out a week before Thanksgiving and is a perfect pairing for your Thanksgiving meal. And it's gonna hold up all the way through Christmas as well. Such a delicious treat. Okay, so having said all this, um, unfortunately by the time this video comes out, Beaujolais Nouveau might be sold out. So here's a picture of me actually looking for it a few days after Beaujolais Nouveau Day. Remember, that's the third Thursday of November. <laughs> and I was already too late. It was sold out. So I'm literally recording this on Thanksgiving Day, two days before this video comes out. Now, I actually had to find this at a specialty wine shop. So if you do miss it in your local big wine purveyor, for example, it was sold out at my local Total Wine. I went to a, a wine shop called k &L. So definitely check your local specialty wine shops or as ever, you can always find anything online. But one caveat is that if you buy it online, make sure that it's Beaujolais Nouveau. Remember, Beaujolais region makes wine from Gamay year round, but the Nouveau is this special one that is produced with that carbonic maceration style and you'll guarantee that it's the right one if it's made in the same year of that November. So this is 2021. This was just on the vine in September and it's only November and it's already here in bottle. That's the special thing about Beaujolais Nouveau. It is a perfect wine to celebrate harvest and it's a perfect way to bring in the holidays. So I hope winos that you can join me in starting your new annual wine tradition every year, the week before Thanksgiving. Go get yourself a bottle of this year's harvest. Beaujolais Nouveau. If you enjoyed what you saw here today, please leave me a like. That helps so much. Don't forget to share this video with your wine friends. And until next time, winos, drink safe and drink well. Cheers and happy holidays.